A soft chill blew through the brisk on winter's day. A blanket of snow covered the ground far below as Celestia's chariot soared through the sky. What a beautiful day for a wedding, Celestia thought, with a smile sprawled all across her face. It had been far too long since she had last been able to attend to a wedding. Her royal duties have always been coming first, however. With Luna back, she could be able to afford to take the time off on such short notice. Plus, no one would blame her for going on a wedding where there'd be two being wed, wielded to each of the elements of harmony. As Celestia's chariot grew closer to the quaint of town of Ponyville, her regal eyes scanned a snow-blanketed town, easily catching a sight of a pace and lavender unicorn that stood out from the white backdrop around her. Celestia let out a soft chuckle to herself, knowing how exactly her student fussed over, worried over every little detail, and no doubt a wedding between her friends was going to have her nerves on and even more than usual. The unicorn quickly looked into the sky as a smile formed on her face. The chariot quickly came to a landing and the unicorn was upon the chariot as an assistant. Princess, oh, thank goodness you're here. And only 10 minutes and 42 seconds late, but that's okay. Twilight laughed as the air seemed to be split out of place. We can make up for lost time if we move to the flower girl ceremony here. The unicorn hastily made scribbles on a clipboard and moved towards the buffet preparations here and Twilight, Celestia spoke clearly, interrupting the star pupil who looked up quickly. You must calm down. If you're too high on strung, the whole affair would be ruined. Celestia laughed as she had looked at the horror appear on Twilight's face. Besides, ten minutes won't harm the wedding. In fact, it might just make it better. Just think about it. The anticipation's in the air. Every pony waiting eagerly for the event to take place. The slow reveal for the audience of everything happening. Celestia winked at her student. And with that, the music and the atmosphere and the tension will be high, Twilight spoke, as a spark went off in her mind. Her hair returning to normal as she smiled. With batted breath, they'll wait on the edges of their seats, anticipating the arrival of the bride. Every moment longer, they must wait, dives them further into the edge, until those regal doors opened, revealing heavenly body behind them. Now you're thinking like a writer. Celestia grinned happily as Twilight chuckled to herself at the joke shared silently between the two of them. Well, I promise I won't keep the ceremony waiting too long. The moment Celestia's hoof touched the ground, she instantly pulled it back, stopping her thoughts and staring at the ground with her mouth agape. What's the matter, princess? Celestia asked, confused at the princess's sudden behavior. Twilight, you don't... Celestia blinked, confused looking at her student standing, as if nothing was wrong. Twilight just seemed to be returned to a confused glance, before Celestia even looked back at the earth she had just touched carefully. The princess lowered her hoof back to the ground, then almost as immediately she pulled it back as if the ground was trying to bite her hoof. Celestia, what's going on? Twilight asked, confused, not sure if she should be worried now or not. Celestia didn't speak a word now, but simply narrowed her eyes. Through the year years of hardship, as ruler of the land, she steeled her nerves tightly and planted her hoof down upon the earth of Ponyville. A bolt of electricity ran down her spine as she felt the hair on the back of her neck stand on, head, on the end. This wasn't a na unnatural sensation. It was unlike anything she felt before. The ground had a pulse, a slow, gradual pulse that felt like something was trying to break free from the ground. The ground didn't move. It didn't show any sign that something was wrong with it. The normal observer Ponyville was the same as it was any other day, but the pulsations of the earth's shivers sent it down her spine. They felt menacing and vile, like if they wanted her as far away from town as possible. You don't feel that, Twilight? Celestia asked curiously, looking over at her student. Am I supposed to be feeling something? Twilight looked down at her hooves, picking up to what seems to be the bottom of it. Before a wind blew 
through, sending a chill down her spine. Well, I feel a little cold, if that's what you mean. Celestia looked over at her star pupil for a few moments, before turning her attention back to the ground. A pulse was already steady and even. She could even count four seconds between each wave of the feeling. But if her student wasn't feeling anything, perhaps whatever is causing it could wait until after the wedding. Well, don't worry about it for now, Twilight. Let's just focus on the wedding. Celestia nodded. Well, all right, princess, if you say so, Twilight said. She was looking back to her clipboard with her checklist. All right, let's get things rolling before we delay things even more. Twilight then quickly turned back to the town hall, raced over to it, wanting to keep things on track. I'll have a chat with her after the wedding, Celestia spoke softly, following her student. After the wedding ceremony had went off without a hitch, much to Twilight's relief, Celestia had even watched a moment and guessed carefully, smiling the whole time. It did seem that all of Ponyville could not feel the strange pulsions like Celestia did. That was not a sign that bodied it well inside of the regular princess's heart. If she was the truly one that could feel it, that must mean that something involving powerful magic and that gave her a cause of concern. At the reception, she watched as the ponies dance and eat to the hearts of content. Happy all over the celebration, the newest couple in their town. She was happy for the ponies of the town. Well, even with the strange sensation constantly pulsing at her hooves, giving her an uneasy feeling. Next to stood her was a faithful student, the only one she had even been flinched at the sensation of the town. Celestia looked at her student from the corner of her eyes, watching her around how amazed at everything happening. This was likely the first wedding Twilight ever attended. Celestia could see the curious looks on her eye, taking notes of the whole affair. They truly do make a lovely couple. Celestia spoke up to her student before chuckling softly. Though I must admit to my surprise, I had no idea two barriers of the elements of harmony would take their lives together a step further like this. Yeah, I didn't see it coming either, Twilight smiled, watching them. Honestly, I don't know much about love, but even I can see they truly love each other. Have you heard and learned anything from all this? Celestia asked. Curious and amused at their student's involvement with the wedding. It was likely that Twilight had learned an important lesson throughout it all, and she was curious about it. I think I have, Princess. Twilight smiled. Celestia listened carefully. I've learned that love is truly a beautiful thing. It brings out the most joyful times in a pony's life, and it can have them some truly amazing journeys in their future. Both of them are going to help reach each other to achieve their dreams because of their love. Celestia couldn't help but smile at her student's words. It seemed to warm her heart to know her student was learning so much since her stay in Ponyville. A curious thought crossed her mind when she just had to ask, Does that mean I'm going to see my student with a new cult or mare friend? Celestia laughed softly, causing Twilight to break on blush. Eh, if you need me to advise study, Celestia... But that's awfully embarrassing. Twilight looked around unsettled. Suddenly very nervous at the idea to be forced to go on dates, Celestia couldn't help but find this behavior both cute and hilarious. She always found it curious to how serious Twilight took her studies. It was a constant delight and a slight frustration on her, on her part. But today she found it amazing. No worries, my student. I would never force you to find love. Twilight let out a sigh of relief. Love is something you should find on your own to make you happy. Never forget that. I won't, princess. Twilight smiled happily, now going back to watching her friends dance. It's a shame Princess Luna couldn't come. Well, she had to remain behind to the royal duties in my absence. Celestia nodded slowly. It was true that Luna had to stay behind, but for the moment she wished she had come along. A second op opinion and and even the pulsations would be very helpful right now. Celestia's face grew serious as she felt the pulsating waves continuing to strike at her feet. They hadn't stopped for even a moment for the entire wedding. Something was wrong with the town, and now it seems like it's a good time to let Twilight know anything about it. Twilight, 
There is a serious matter that I need to discuss with you. Celestia spoke slowly. What is it, princess? Twilight looked up at her teacher, blinking a little confused at the shift of tone. Well, the truth is, since my arrival, something has felt off, like something is wrong with Ponyville. Celestia spoke quietly and gravely. She then even gave Lucy a small shiver go down her student's back. What is it? Twilight asked cautiously. I'm not sure. Honesty, that is what is scaring me right now. Celestia's words were very heavy. However, whatever is wrong with Ponyville, it seems that I'm the only one that could feel it. What? What are you feeling, princess? Twilight asked, confused. Celestia fought it over, wondering just how much she would tell Twilight. She then looked down at her hooves, feeling another pulse wave through, the constant sensation of the town having a heartbeat. An idea sparked in Celestia's head. It's too hard to explain at the moment, Twilight, but I need you to trust me that something is wrong with Ponyville, and tonight I'm going to try and fix it. Celestia then turned to look at the dancing ponies. I want you to know if you see anything strange, you'll be prepared. But what should I prepare for, Princess? Twilight asked, still worried. I'm not sure, Celestia spoke truthfully. But I have a feeling when I do the fix this, it'll be noticeable. Right now, I don't want to panic the citizens of Ponyville. But if something does happen, I want you to be ready to keep them calm, alright? Well, alright, Princess. I'll do my best. Twilight nodded with the enthusiasm. I knew I could count on you. Celestia smiled with her faithful student. Now why don't you have some cake? I'm not going to do anything until nightfall anyway. All right, I think I will. Twilight smiled, though Celestia could still see the worry etched on her, to her face. She quickly trotted over to the refreshments table to get some cake. I think I know what's going on. Celestia murmured to herself quietly. I should be able to fix this. She looked down at the floor as it pulsed once more. Celestia's warm breath washed the past off her face as she walked through Ponyville. Night had fallen, and the moon was glowing brilliantly overhead. Most of the town was sleeping peacefully in their homes now. Many were hungover. Few were just tired from the partying. The rest were just eager to get back to work in the morning. To their knowledge, the regal princess had left after the wedding to return to Canterlot. However, she currently found herself walking to the center of Ponyville, just a few yards away from Ponyville Town Square. Each step seemed to echo loudly in her mind. She thought she knew very well that she wasn't talking as loudly as it sounded. A cool breeze blew down the town, sending a small shiver down her spine. The pulsing hadn't stopped, not even for a moment. In fact, now that night had fallen, it felt like the pulsing had intensified. It was more as if the sleeping ponies gave a strange sensation strength, a fact that it disturbed her. She came to a stop as she knew to be at the center of Ponyville and looked around the ground, her wings spreading regularly into the night air. Her body was surrounded by the moon's glow as she strained her stance. All right, I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm going to put an end to it. Celestia spoke with no one particular, her horn began to glow a vibrant color of yellow as she began to wave her magic, picturing the images of her spells in her head and readying down her execution. Waves of magic began to gently flow from her body and onto the ground of Ponyville. The spell wove on the ground, reaching for the source of the pulsations, trying to discern its identity. Suddenly, as if the town was silently roared up at the instruction of magic, pushing the magic out of the ground, sending a new terrifying wave of energy into the streets of Ponyville. Celestia gagged at the overwhelming sensation of its invisible fog that seemed to be choking her senses. Her horn quickly lit up once more, and a bubble of energy quickly surrounded her, pushing out the seemingly toxic energy away from her body. Celestia took several deep breaths, looking at the strange air surrounding her. The air itself seemed to be deforming, changing and shifting into the looks of the town. The pulsation longer felt like a pulse, but with a constant wave of unreal feelings. I don't know what you are, but you're not welcome in Ponyville. 
Leave immediately. Celestia's eyes began to glow white as her horn began to glow brighter. More vividly, the crushing air seemed to hesitate back up as the princess began to weave her magic. Celestia unleashed a ma wave of magic coming out of her body, bathing in the strange energy that her raw, unhindered magic. The air seemed to scream and wail as it assaulted her by power, unable to stand up to it. As Celestia's attacks ended, she looked around her surroundings, and it seemed like the air had returned to normal, and the ground had stopped its, its, its assault. No, that was too easy, she murmured, for to herself as her horn was glowing once more. She reached into her magic book and into the ground, weaving through the dirt. It still had to be there, trying to hide from her reach, but she would drag it out and force it to stop. Celestia gasped as something seemed to be grabbing hold of her magic and yank on it, breaking the connection to her horn. The remain magic dissipated into the air. As she gritted her teeth, a new wave of powerful energy bursting up from the ground around her. Her shield again struggled against the massive onslaught of the energy attacking her. She lit her head horn to strengthen it, but it seemed to be far too late. Large cracks formed in the shield stretching over the entire surface before it finally broke. Unrestrained by the shield and the energy hit Celestia like a bag of bricks, knocking her away from the center of Ponyville and sending her several meters back. She grunted and groaned as she quiet, quickly got to her feet, ready to strike back and take down the strange force. However, once she stood, she found herself unable to move. She forced commands down to her legs, but they wouldn't lift, she instinctively led her horn to surround herself in the magic to yank her free from the spot, but to no avail. Baffled, she was forced as much magical energy as she could to surround her head. With all the force concentrated, she was able to move her head down and look what was tapping and trapping her in her place. Celestia's eyes dilated as she stared in horror. A blood-red seal had appeared below her. It was made up of two large circles with cryptid and agent ruin, runatic littering inside those two large circles had three smaller circles. It was also surrounded by ancient runic lettering. Celestia tried to cry out, to scream, but to retaliate with her magic against the force blinding her. But the force she did not budge. The energy of the symbol began to wrap itself around her, surrounding her every being. Her magic sparked and flared from her horn, but no form came to it. Her mind screamed and rebelled against the force attacking her, but she could not fight back or resist. The strange energy was reaching into her mind, grating her insanity. Her eyes began to flash in and out of her magical state as the probing energy distorted her, prescription, her perceptions. But in reality... With her every ounce of a blast ounce of ability, she concentrated the last of her magic to into a single point, and to save her insanity, with a soft grunt, her last of her magic bursts, erupting into an explosion in the middle of Ponyville. For a moment, fire blew up into the sky, but it was silenced just as quickly as it came. The town was quiet once more. The struggle between Celestia and the invisible force was over. It seemed that the town hadn't weakened from the sound of the struggle, deaf to what it was just occurred. Ponyville fell deathly silent that night. The residents were unaware of the battle for their lives had occurred, for after the fight, there was only one clue left over what occurred. A thick fog rolled through the town of Ponyville.